I'm going to drill a hole, I think right here, um, right there. So that means I need to raise this up, 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 so then there's a proper size to get in there. Um, so, this is what the bed frame looks like when it is disassembled. All right, I seem to have ran into an impasse. I forgot that when Hotel Prius and I installed these, we did this, um, I think it's called the Craig system, where it's screwed into this top two by four here and here. So the only other option, <laughs> the only other option, I guess, is to cut this area out and additionally cut out the area in this bed. Uh, platform and then have an inlet right here which then goes down to here um, if anyone is following me uh, or if that makes sense to anyone that's what I'm thinking then I wouldn't have to raise the bed I wouldn't have to take this thing out and, and raise it up you see how it's kind of low and it only provides like an inch or two inches, inch and a half maybe, of protection for sliding for this for this mattress. So I'm thinking maybe go ahead and do get more two by fours for support back here, so it doesn't bow out so uh, so much, or maybe two by eights. Um, because what I what I could do is I could take this 2x4, slide it over here, and then have a 2x8 in the middle and provide some extra rigidity. Actually, this is pretty rigid. If I slid this one over and then I had one 2x8 in the middle, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut out this and do as planned. Tomorrow when that thing arrives at Amazon, then I can rent a jigsaw, cut this thing out, cut this wall out, through the bus and they can have yeah install the water thing so uh, here is a little switch that I made last night I did like six trips to the hardware store I knew I was gonna I knew it was gonna be a long day and there was gonna be multiple trips so I didn't want to have a broken record video Lowe's greatest hits so I just did um, I was just working yesterday. So anyways, that's a plan. I'm going to go and I'm going to buy one 2x8. Cut to size, and then I'll drill it in. Alright, I am back from Lowe's. Uh, look at the difference with the Flex. 2x4, two 2x10. Two Alright, 2x4, 2x10. See, this is nice and secure. This is not. So, uh, I'm going to rearrange some things here. I'm going to drill this one in permanently over here on the edge. So I have some <laughs> stability towards the edge of the bed. And then I'm going to temporarily put the other two over here. Um, so I can work around that tomorrow. Because I think I want to put the inlet, like, right here. Just um, so it has a nice, easy shot right to that spot see that you understand so there will be a little bit of flex but you got two basically a two by eight instead of two by four and this is totally solid this is going to be super solid so <clears throat> it's going to be a lot better than before because i actually noticed when i would sleep on that edge <laughs> <laughs> it, would kind of, it would kind of sink down a little bit. Um, so, and if it bothers me, I suppose I could install a little piece of board or maybe flip this, flip this over since it's been, you know, on the other side for so long. Um, anyways, it's going to be a lot better regardless. Okay, here we go. Half uh, reinstalled. Really easy. Really, really easy, guys. Uh, as you can see, this thing is super flimsy. 
but once the mattress is on the weight will be distributed and even this is so much better so much better so i knew there was a reason i didn't like to sleep way on the edge because <laughs> it was it would sink especially with two people on there so anyways uh that's it for today for this particular project because i gotta wait for that thing to arrive overnight shipping from amazon then i can put the rest of this actually maybe i'll maybe i'll bore this hole out and get it ready and these need to be cut to size as well but i don't exactly know what size so maybe i will wait for tomorrow should be pretty simple um and of course i do have a few other things to do as well one being fixing this wood right here so maybe i'll take a crack at that not really sure what to do all right well that concludes today um <laughs> still got work to do tomorrow uh just kind of getting back in the swing of things after my uh little surgery so um i appreciate all of those people out there who have understood and uh you know are patient with my uploads <laughs> It was um, a bit longer uh, recovery time than I expected, and as I've said before, I really don't want to make boring content. It's not my uh, my goal, not my ambition in life, if you will. And um, yeah, so looking forward to hitting the road soon. If I can get the shower fully installed or at least fully plumbed tomorrow, that would be. <laughs> That would be a major accomplishment. That would be great. Especially since this is the first time installing a shower. I feel like <clears throat> the majority of the time that I spent on this build, unfortunately, has been a learning experience. Uh, I'm not a carpenter, not a handyman, not a plumber, <laughs> not a tradesman, if you will. Just a guy with a camera talking to his right hand all day just trying to learn um, and so I have definitely learned a lot and it's been quite an amazing experience so far um, <laughs> I mean the build part of it has been an amazing experience the travel part of it has been an equally amazing experience I met so many amazing people um, the <laughs> van life hashtag van life or bus life has been and the probably the most incredible experience meeting other like-minded people, other travelers, other you know frugal digital nomads, uh, other YouTubers and and stuff like that. And it, it, it's you know I, I came to this conclusion of downsizing as a result of an internal frustration of me wanting a certain lifestyle which was unattainable with my current situation current situation was rent apartment um, you know the things that go into an apartment having a job and responsibilities and once I was able to save up money and kind of like just take off and just hope for the best it's been incredible and hopefully this continues hopefully I can hit my target number of like you know 50 to 100 thousand subscribers 100 would be amazing 50 would be great uh, but somewhere in there I think from ad revenue which I'm gonna have to turn ads on somewhere with the ad revenue would give me enough money to survive on a shoestring budget and that is the goal right now and then obviously to build upon that um, but yeah it's been it's been awesome uh, even the downtime has been great to reflect on my videos I was just sending uh, Dylan Magister some uh, some old videos and I was watching like the really early ones and I was like you totally sucked <laughs> <laughs> but I watch my videos now and I'm like these are like watchable 
and I still have a long ways to go. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm still 11 months old for YouTube, and I really want to improve. I really believe that I can create captivating and interesting content for you, content that is not on TV, content that is impossible to make with a production crew or a production company. This is intimate, it's just me and you. Look, there's no one else in here. It's just us. <laughs> with me and my thoughts. And that is the priceless part of the video uh, that can't be replicated. The producer can't tell me to say things and for it to come out natural like it is now. Um, I feel like that's why TV is declining. There is too many reality shows and they're just complete and utter BS. The place I used to work at, the bar, is now a reality show. <laughs> Thank God I'm not there. They hired a bunch of uh, actors to pretend to be employees. Um, and then after the fact, I heard they were hired. Um, and it's just, it's crap. <laughs> not them, not the, not that place, not the, my old co-workers, they're not crap, but the whole formula is crap. Kardashians. Crap. Uh, it's all fake. It is all fake. Trust me. I went to school with someone who <laughs> was on the hills, and it was just, I mean, you can't tell, you, you, you don't know what's reality and what's not, I mean, it's just, it's fake. Producers tell you what to say. So anyways, this is a real deal. This is me, this is you, this is my bus, this is my life. Uh, <laughs> I have a dwindling bank account. I'm hoping to make it to the end of the year. I hope by then I have a uh, monthly income. Um, what else? Uh, I mean, this is it. What you see, <laughs> what you see is my life right here. I have, you know, trash bag right there. Shoes right there. Dirty bed sheets right there. Bunch of pillows up there. A bus still with the ignition switch issue right there. A <laughs> uh, half completed shower. Um, I got a full heart and a empty bank account. <laughs> but I wouldn't change anything for the world. And that is the truth. That is the real truth that you wouldn't see on a reality TV show.